What's up guys, Zach here, and today we are talking about five things in DaVinci Resolve 17.4 that will take your videos from here to here. Now, before I jump right in, I wanna take a second. If you guys are liking these videos, please drop a like and smash that subscribe button. We are so close to hitting our 500 subscriber goal and it takes like no time. So if you're enjoying these, it would go a long way if you could went ahead and did that for me. Let's jump right into DaVinci Resolve. <laughs> Number one is anamorphic flares. Add a corrector node, search for glow, increase the spread, increase the HV ratio, increase the gamma, the gain, saturation, and you can also change the color. Number two is super slow-mo. Turn on retime controls and retime curve Choose the point where you want to put your first speed point, find your output speed point, add another speed point. Click on retime frame right here, drop down menu, click on retime speed, go to each speed point, choose the more gradual intro, click on this section here, change the speed based upon your frame rate, and there you go. Number three is light rays. First thing you do is you pull the light rays effect over your clip, go to the effects function, and first make an adjustment based on the position, based on where the light is coming from. Increase the length, adjust the soften, mess with the brightness. He is making sure that the angle in which the light is coming from appears natural. That looks pretty good. Let's toggle that on and off. And there you go. You've got natural cinematic layer is. Number four is dynamic zoom. This is one of the easier effects here. All you do is click on the clip that you want to work with and you just toggle this function on right here on the side. And it's a fairly subtle effect, but it gives a little bit of a parallax typed effect. It works especially well with drone footage just to kind of give a bit more of that subtle motion to make your shots even more engaging. Number five is camera shake. Choose the clip that you want to apply the effect. Add the camera shake effect over top of it go to the effects menu you can change all of the different motion scale speed scale uh, and the motion blur all here on the side depending on the type of shake that you want type of motion that you want and then you can give yourself a bit of that shake effect depending on what you're looking for it can really add another element to your shot Thanks for everyone who made it to the end. If you guys are enjoying these videos and are looking for more tips to improve your filmmaking, specifically working within DaVinci Resolve, drop a comment below for some other effects or tips and tricks that you'd like to see within the DaVinci Resolve platform. This is just sort of a teaser for a lot of the tutorials that I'll be releasing in the future. Drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next week.